All right, and I'm here with EJ. EJ, and what do you do in the band? I'm the drummer. I play the drums. drums. Keep cool. the beat. Keep the beat. <laughs> All right, the most important question we have: poison or rat? Uh, or rat. Poison or rat? I say uh. Poison. More poison. poison. More of a glam guy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> My mom uh, liked poison, so. Your mom did? Yeah. So awesome. I go with poison. Awesome. Rat was kind of too much makeup. <laughs> too much makeup and rat? But poison was a little more glam. <laughs> there, was, there was like, I don't know. I just never. Just to get into it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is the biggest influence on your uh, drumming, man, the way you play. Who would you say you? It's a number of drummers, actually. Uh, Probably like um, Carter Buford from uh, Dave Matthews' band. He, 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 I got into him through a friend. My previous drum really got me into him. Watched him technically. And then uh, Eric or Smelly from No Effects, one of my favorite ones. Or from Strung Out. Uh, and when it comes to, to like metal, you know, it'd be Vinnie Paul or, and uh, from Pantera, and then maybe. Uh, Lombardo from, from Slayer. Everybody loves the, Dave, the, the, yeah. The double kick guys, yeah. man. The guys that are like really heavy on double kick, you know, and, and they're real precise and either real heavy or real balls to the wall. Those are the drummers I like, you know. Awesome, man. Um, what do you think it is about this new band that makes it special for you? Anything that you could really say? Um, you know, the attitudes of the band and the guys, uh, you know, known for quite a while, so it's good chemistry and we're all friends and we do this because we're musicians and we love what we do and we're able to do uh, something together in a, in a real uh, cool environment. You know, it's not it's not all about just trying to make a real band, trying to make it or get signed. It's about just really jamming and playing music. You know? Awesome, man. Huh? Oh, yeah. Bad Religion or No Effects? I asked this one of Ed. <sighs> no Effects. No Effects. Yeah. <laughs> Slayer or Megadeth? Really? Yeah. yeah, I'm a big Megadeth freak myself. I mean, I love Slayer's drumming. I love, you know, like a lot of the thrash, but Megadeth's just more of, you just smell crazier, man. You got to keep that in Metallica. You got to keep that in Metallica for being too crazy. For drinking know? too heavy. You know? I mean, if you keep that in one of the biggest metal bands in the world for being too crazy, then your band's probably going to be crazier, you know? Hell yeah. Uh, I'm going to talk about it. Is there any previous bands you've played in that you're really proud of? The work you did in? Or still I doing? Many, I don't know how many bands I've been in. <laughs> uh, I'd say, uh, you know, of course, a lot of the stuff I did in Dead Sky, but I'm, well, I'm doing with Dead Sky still. Um, I've done a lot of, you know, like uh, studio work and, you know, helped out certain bands. Um, and there's, there's a, you know, a lot, almost everything I did, I, I did, you know, I, I've done it for fun, so I'm pretty proud of it, you know. Cool. I haven't had anything. Besides, like the very first bands I ever did, that were, you know, they were just they were kid just, stuff. Yeah. You know, <laughs> having, we had our beer song, our forty ounce song, or fuck society song, and fuck the government song. You know, when I was in junior high, and, you know, beginning just like everyone else did. But now, you know, a lot of the new stuff, a lot of the new uh, songs and directions and topics are real original and stuff that no one's even touched on. So, cool, man. Um, what did you say was the best local show you've ever seen here in Corpus, man? Not necessarily a show you played in, but a show you've been to. Man, I'd have to been Youth Brigade. The backtracks. So Youth Brigade was like I, my favorite. That band. was an awesome freaking show, man. Yeah, you got that one. Yeah. It was probably on the like, To Sell the Truth album when they put yeah, out that album. It was yeah. the old punk song guy that just came. Yeah. Out. That was that. That was probably my favorite show, but literally, it's still, it's still probably it's, it, it tied with my first show ever which was Suicide Tendencies oh hell so, yeah between those two shows it's really difficult but I, I know like, if I had to pick one it really made me sick because they're both like they're both my favorite Suicide was amazing and so did you forget so and the youth group show was that with VGS or who was that with that was with it was with VGS yeah yeah, was yeah that was from the theater me yeah that was sweet hell yeah, yeah that was an amazing show man yeah we put on a good show and, and so did uh Stern Brothers didn't get in a fist fight or nothing, so that was cool. Yeah. No. <laughs> what about um the greatest show you've ever been to, like out of town? Man. Again, there's another tie. The two of the greatest bands that ever see live. You know, one of them is No Effects. 
to see it, it's, you know people perform really really wasted and just put on such a carefree just rocked out show you know just really for all all about the music is no effects and then when it comes to like just being super tight and precise and awesome the best band I've ever seen live besides no effects is a Weezer really yeah those guys were CD quality were you singing the sweater song I sang every song <laughs> they were amazing awesome man um I mean, you talked about this last time we were. I was here. Uh, what do you think of the the, lo- the present scene right now in Corpus? Um, One word, would you say it? It lacks, you know, it lacks a, a real distincter, it lacks a voice within the punk scene. Everyone does the same old, same old, you know, every band follows the textbook, you know, punk rock, oh, you know, street shit, or violence, beer drinking, all this kind of shit, and, and it's like, that shit was cool when you're first getting into punk rock, you know, that's, that's like the your entry level, you know, but then you realize that there's more in the world, there's, there's, there's bigger topics, and there's, there's more complex music you can write, and there's better ways to project messages and emotions to music than just, you know, writing, you know, stupid two, four songs, it, it's already been done, you know. And you just you just taking off other people's shit, and I wish wish people were more individuals, try to be more distinct, try to separate themselves, start their own shit, you know, make something new instead of just fucking riding the tail off of all these other good old great punk bands, you know. So awesome. right now we really don't have anything. Like uh, we're probably the only skate surf slash fat rich kind of bands even trying to do that. So. So being the only band like that sucks, you know. So hopefully other other people rise up to the, the plate. And there's a couple bands and a couple people that are that are really pushing it. Like Final Lotus, you know, that's one band, and uh, they have another band called The War Show. You know, I mean, those guys are, are still trying to push themselves and, and push the li- their limits, and you know, some for the scene. You know, I mean, they're really trying it, even though they're, you know, they don't have mohawks and a beer song. A lot of a lot of the younger punks won't even go to their shows because. They're real fucking punk rock, you know? Yeah. Lewis! What's up? What's up? So, uh, on a lighter note, hopefully we'll get fucking jamming and bring some... Sing- I know there's tons of people that want this, that they want to go to shows, but they have to go out of town to go see a good show and shit, you know? They got to drive to San Antonio or drive to Austin to see a good fucking punk rock show. So, hopefully, uh, we can influence some kids here to, to do something, you know, different. Cool, man. How you doing, Lewis? What's going on? What's up, buddy? Uh, interview. Yes, sir. Cool, cool. I think I got the this, job, Lewis. This is your starring role, man. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what do you want to tell the folks at home? Uh, just uh, can't wait to jam out. Start jamming some shows. Awesome, man. Start rocking oh, yeah. Out. And you play, I guess, this looks like a bass. Yeah. I got a bass right here. Uh, cool. For the time being, you know, what I use. But, you know, gets the job done. Awesome, man. Awesome. Uh, I was asking EJ about um, what do you think it is that makes this band kind of special and different from other projects you may have been in or other bands around. I, I think, uh, you know, all of us, uh, we've done our own thing, you know, been different places and uh, I think put together, you know, the, we got a, you know, we got a good, a, something you know, going good, so yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be special. You know? Cool, man. Cool. Um, I, uh, basic question everybody has to, you know, Bad Religion or No Effects? Uh, I, me, a uh, Bad Religion. I, uh, Bad Religion is, you know, I, I, that's, that was my first inspiration, so I, I, I Oh, yeah. They um, go, they go longer. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite place to see live shows at here in Corpus? Here in Corpus? Uh, sh- Many places, yeah. <laughs> you know, can't name too many places. Uh, you know, Zero's is a little small place, kind of real, you know, you know intimate. You know, uh, House of Rock, you know, it's a pretty cool place to see some cool. You know, some what bands. about you, EJ? Um, Theo's man, and even local bands. I all hear about yeah. Theo's lately. Everybody keeps talking about Theo's. Mm-hmm. I want to check it out. Well, I mean, I you know, practically designed the entire setup, man. I'm, uh, I mean, from the amps to, the, to everything they use, you know, <laughs> went in there and uh, helped uh, do the entire, you know, basic floor plan. And then ever since then, uh, the owner, Doug, has been just 
upgrading and upgrading to where it's it's at a very uh, um, pro level concert level that that not I mean it's hands down uh, the equipment that they have is more far advanced and cutting edge and and like barely been out on the market compared to any other venue. You know, Ooh. before it used to be like House of Rock was that's the place to play, man. That's where I would that's where I want to play. But shit, Theos is like. That's where you want to play, man. The light show, the stage, the sound, all their equipment, their board. I mean, it's just if you want to, if you want to, if you're a crap band and you want to sound awesome, that's a place. To <laughs> if you're an awesome band, and you want to sound like one of the best, amazing, most amazing bands ever. Do that. That place will, will do justice. You know. Hell yeah! Check it out, definitely. Um, is there any upcoming shows that you're looking forward to seeing that are coming to Corpus or anywhere close by or anything? Just one, man. I haven't been to a concert or a big show in, in like three or four years in Corpus. Like, uh, there's never any good bands. You know, Bad Religion, Rise Against, and Four Years Strong, man. Hell yeah. That's How about you? Good. Yeah, uh, Bad Religion, uh, Rise Against. I'm ready for that show. Um, I'm looking forward to the Face to Face and Strong Out, but that's in San Antonio. Oh, yeah. 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 I already got my tickets for that, so. Damn. Um, everybody's going to that. <laughs> Uh, all right, man. Any parting words that you want to say? Uh, just, I just I hope uh, you know what we're doing right now. I hope it becomes something, and you know something that that lasts, and you know go somewhere with it. Cool, man. And, you know, I just wish the best best of luck for everybody. You know, awesome. Let's see how it goes. You know, and hopefully we find a, a singer. We're looking for a singer right now too. So you know, yes. and anybody out there? Your friends, you know, you right. got it. Cool, man. Thanks, Louis. Uh, yeah, same that same thing Louis said. And if there's any singers out there, anybody wants to step to the plate, man, just just give us a holler. Just, yeah, give us a holler. You want to All jump? right. Well, thanks, EJ. Appreciate no it, man. Thanks, you too. Cheers. Cheers, brother.